people have smoke alarms at home? Raise your hand if you have one. How many are 100% certain that your alarms are working properly? <coughs> how many know how to test it? How many have tested it in the last 30 days? Smoke alarms are proven lifesavers. Everyone test yours as soon as you get home today. Or have someone do it for you. Don't let it go. Hi, Tom Bosley here. I didn't have my hand up on that last one. So I really should pay attention to the rest of this. I bet you know someone who's had a fire at home or was injured in a fall. I do. Almost everyone our age does. But do you know that more than 800 older adults die in fires at home every year? And that nearly 13,000 die from fall-related injuries? It's not something we can ignore. Now this may surprise you, but taking a few simple precautions may be all you need to do. You could have something laying near the stove that could catch on fire, like you could carelessly lay down a dishcloth near the burner. Yeah, let me get that. I notice your sleeves, Doris. They could easily catch fire. You need to roll them up. You're right about the sleeves, Tom. I usually try to be very careful to wear close-fitting sleeves at the stove. Nothing dangling that could catch fire. Well, at our age, even a minor burn could cause dangerous complications. I was hurrying. George is always reminding me, take your time. Use the oven mitts. Careful with hot food from the microwave. Turn the pot handles in. You have any cake? Cake? Running or even walking is a, is a wonderful exercise, and it, uh, it gives you a lot of confidence in your abilities. It really does. Put one or two fingers. These chair exercises are terrific for seniors, and Tai Chi, too. It will improve your balance and build strength. I get the connection now. We need to stay fit in case of a fire so we can get out quick, use the stairs, and crouch down below the smoke, and that sort of thing. My smoke detectors are up in the ceiling, and I am really afraid to stand on a stool or a ladder to check them. Smokers should be extra careful if they're taking medication that could make them drowsy. Well, I hope he has working smoke alarms. Test your smoke alarm right now. Okay. Yes, he's good about that. That's a great idea. And we made an escape plan, too. Well, it was clear right away that Jennifer ah. really knew what she was talking about. For instance, that space heater should always be at least three feet from anything that could burn. At least three feet. And turned off before you leave the room or go to sleep. Maybe an extra blanket is a better way to stay warm. And throw rugs. Boy, if you get up in the middle of the night, put one foot down on that rug and try to stand up, you're risking a fall. People use these for bath mats, door mats, kitchen mats. It's like a minefield. It's much safer to get one with non-skid backing. Jennifer was a great resource, and I learned a lot about what I need to do for myself. And now, I'm a regular at the safety group, too. At this meeting, I'm giving the presentation. <sighs> I've been in front of the camera for hundreds of hours, probably thousands. I can't believe I have butterflies over this. Maybe because this is serious stuff, no joking around. At our age, these are the kind of things that can save a life. My life and yours.